I am super excited about these because anyone that knows me knows I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, and Dragon Ball Super. So we have all kinds of stuff. We got Frieza, we got Tien, we got Yamcha, we got Nappa with the little Chaosu explosion ready to go. Uh, then we have the Super Saiyan God. We got a, um, a Cyberman and a Vegeta here. But we have uh, all kinds of stuff going on. Goku Black is in the background. So they did all the generations um, ready to go for these Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball action figures. Um, and they look like they're, they're not too posable, but they definitely have some points where you can pose them yourself. Um, I want to learn more about these. Looks like you got your TN here, your Super Saiyan Vegeta. We even have a Shenron, which people that know me personally knows that Shenron is my next tattoo. I'm going to do a whole thing all along my arm. It's going to be awesome. Super pumped about that one because I'm a giant, stupid nerd. All right, let's see where Michael went. Um, but you can see, we got all kinds of stuff. Bandai and, and, and Bluefin and all these guys make some great action figures. Um, and some of them that you know very well and some of them that you might not. We have Mecha Godzilla, which is an old school Godzilla bad guy that the government made a giant robot Godzilla to try and fight Godzilla. And it did not work out well. Uh, the Ninja Turtles, you all know. Joker and Harley, Mega Man, Gundam Wing, old school anime. Um, and even Ultraman, which was one of those like great old Japanese shows uh, that were kind of lame, and uh, but also a lot of fun. Uh, Chun Li and Ryu, are especially there for you guys. That's pretty cool. We got some other anime stuff. The anime has, I think, probably exploded, especially in the last couple of years. Even though it's always been big, and we grew up on something like Dragon Ball, uh, Sailor Moon, right? Uh, even Ranma One Half, Naruto. Those are the kind of things that we've been used to. But now things like uh, Attack on Titan has become big. Uh, we got little little guys here of uh, Levy and Aaron. Uh, even uh, Hello Kitty. We all all know Hello Kitty, I think. Um, but Bandai is especially good at making these kind of things. Um, not even just the Nam Bandai Namco that we know and love from our video games, but also action figures. Take us around here. Check out this spinning Lazy Susan guy here. Yeah. Oh, excellent. I'm excited. I'm walking around and I'm, uh, I'm nerding out here. Really? Yeah, we got all kinds of, I don't know, there, there's our cameras. So what are you guys big fans of? Uh, well, I'm a huge fan of the Dragon Ball stuff. Okay. Um, we, uh, I run a show here on Be Terrific called Classically Trained and seeing Mega Man and stuff like that, we do a, we do a retro gaming show. So, so it's a nostalgic, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so even like the, the, yeah, the Street Fighter stuff. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of your figures. Where do you guys, uh, when you get your licenses, pick those right costumes? Because you can do costume changes all over. Do you guys go with original stuff? It's not more of our decision as manufacturing uh, as in the brands itself. So what you're looking at right here is Tamashii Nations. Okay. So Tamashii Nations is one of the brands that we represent and was their concept of the design of the product that they make. So pretty much what they'll do is they'll solicit it to us what they're coming out with and it's our job to go ahead and take that item and solicit it to our customers. By doing so, our customers are retailers, independent, Comic shops, you name so it. So little comic shops and exactly. all kinds of stuff like that. So then they go are they, ahead. Uh, die cast, vinyl, how do you guys make? Um, some of them are plastic, some of them are die cast, depending on the character and right. depending on the actual brand itself. I mean, with Tamashii Nations alone, they do a lot of plastic. But it's articulated, so the movement, you could change positions, you could change the hands, the face recognition. So you so get a lot of good setup. It does have a really good setup. <laughs> and the really cool thing about it is that you could actually put them in actual fighting poses as if you're actually playing the game as you were back in the day. Yeah. So that's, that's the actual... That's probably the best part. You've got, like, Naruto shipping in here. Oh, Sailor yeah. Moon. Even the new series as well, his son. Oh, you have a Baruto. Yeah, right oh, here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, the there he is. The Baruto as well. Very cool. The camera guy's going to have to wait for it to come around. But <laughs> uh, let's move along here. You guys got so what you're a looking really at, cool samurai Star Wars. Tell us about it. So Tomashi Nations came out with uh, the whole licensing rights for Star Wars to be in an actual samurai Japanese type of style. 
And in doing so, they were able to create other characters, Vader, some of the stormtroopers. And the concept behind it is if you look at the weapons that stormtroopers carry are actual from back in the day as in traditional Japanese fighting right. style. But the thing is, is that there's so many different types of armors that we couldn't give it to one samurai, one stormtrooper. So we were able to develop the concept of numerous stormtroopers that would have a different right, so weapon. There's a pole fighter there. Uh, you have the, the, gun. Long, the long gun. Well, the sword, the yeah. arrows as well. The arrows, We gave cool. respect to the Shadow Trooper. He was actually a new item that recently came into our hands not too long ago, as well as Darth Maul. Right, I see I the Maul I think that's a really good here. tribute. That's a really, really great tribute. And now, I'm, most people know I'm not a huge fan of the prequels, but that is super badass. Uh, if they would have gave him more respect in the prequels, I would have been even happier. <laughs> yeah, but they definitely. also got Jango Fett, as you can see. Yeah, and, and the Jango Fett especially Bubba there. Dad. Now, or these are really dead. cool, too. You not only have Star Wars, but you have Marvel Samurai. Because of the Samurai. licensing rights that Disney took over Star Wars, and right. Marvel gave uh, actual permission to Tomashi to do the Marvel line, as you can see, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Right. Now, War I think Machine. people are probably going, who is that? That's War Machine, yeah. obviously. Yeah, Rhodey's character. Right, exactly. So. you got a little Spidey guy, uh, and our Spider-Man has the grapple weapon, which I think was super clever to do. It was a it was a good add-on to mix because I mean obviously if you're gonna do a Japanese samurai style with actual uh, weapons that they used back in the day, yeah. well you got to do a grappling hook. <laughs> it's a, it's a great design. Now do you guys come up with that or does does Tamashi uh, come, Tamashi come, up, come up, up with that? With okay, great. I believe we might have a little insight. That's more on the intel to do, but we don't necessarily, you know, make the design right. itself. All right, well, so well, so you got a whole line of Star Wars stuff. Now, is this a build it yourself? It is a model kit. All right, we, so we got a model uh, kit going here. Now, the model kit itself are from Star Wars, and this is a Bondi hobby. Uh, we represent Bondi Japan. Right. So we get a lot of the vehicles, as you can see, and they're model kits. No paint needed. You just clip them off. You're able to go ahead and put them on. And you can it. paint them yourself if with those you like, are little the tiny brushes. Side, yeah. <laughs> if you have the skill set and you are advanced, then yes, you're more than welcome to. As you can see with the perfect grade, oh, man, Millennium yeah. Falcon, the 144, 172 I knew, scale. I knew a guy that used to paint tiny little uh, Civil War guys. He would probably be really awesome at this, but I know Very I would. They would just be, yeah, I would just be. There would be messes all over those things. Not uh, bad. Yeah, but these are really cool. You even have little guys in there that you can put into. Uh, into the little seats. You got like a little red, on. red one or whatever in there. Laser. Very cool. Lasers. That's one in the red. You can shoot them out. Even you have a little originality for Luke Skywalker as he uh, oh, shot yes. the final shot. The final shot. <laughs> so you have one of these guys? I know you guys have one of these in uh, set up at home, right? I did do the TIE Fighter, the you Slave the One. <laughs> yeah, so I was able to kind of mix around. And our, our offices, we're all nerds, and we have a huge variety. These guys are really great. Bluefin has some really well-educated guys who know their brands and know that's the products great. because we all grew up with it. I think that's what makes it stand out the most is for the fact that these guys grew up with the shows. They're able to help our customers get right. an understanding for somebody that doesn't necessarily know too much about the product. Or doesn't know too much about the franchise. Yeah, yeah. Our guys actually right because that, that's right hard. To, it's hard to build something to such detail uh, without really knowing the product, yeah. you know. Very and hard. I feel like there are probably millions of people out there that, that do that. But you guys seem to have it down, uh, even from Gundam. Um, my Gundam knowledge is at a, at a good percentage, not as high as my other guys. If you want somebody who has Gundam knowledge, I can give you guys one right now. But as for my Gundam knowledge, it's very limited. <laughs> I was watching the show, but not as much. Uh, the quick question is, how many points How many points of articulation are there on those characters back there? So the bottom shelf and the articulation, again, for the Samurais could go up to, I believe, 10 plus. Elbows, hands, neck, face, legs, feet, back wrist so 10 plus wow yeah so, All right. the so then what we got down here so starting to the left is king kingdom hearts you know everybody's a fan of the game yeah. of course uh we did a solicitation recently for donald duck and goofy uh some of the exclusives are mickey and sora they're actually gonna be coming back into stock for us one of the propagas is for a lot of the cosplays is the kingdom hearts key uh, keyblade uh, benefits to know more about it is that it has uh, lights installed, so you can do green, red, and blue. Yeah. Uh, has a good sound effect, but it's a different type of music. Um, and on the very top of the Keyblade has a flashlight, where in the dark you point to a wall, it makes it look like you're unlocking the wall. <laughs> That's so, pretty cool. And this, for a, for a prop replica, is not that expensive. We do our best to go with today's market. Right. So 185 for this bad boy, and it's uh, that is that is massive. The weight is not as bad. I think it's like maybe five, yeah. five, six pounds. That's not terrible though, no. especially for someone who cosplays. 
cut, lugging that thing around all day. It's good that it's light. It's you airy. Can't, you can't really do damage to somebody with it. <laughs> but, you know, it's a great to act like you are. Unless they have no up. heart, right? That's the... Yeah. <laughs> it, it actually goes that way. All right, so a little over, we have some... The Chagokin cars, uh, for people that are found the car series, uh, these have been a great line for us. Prices, uh, MSRP at that 250 um, our retailers do carry these lines as well. Uh, spoiler alert, Cars 3, he actually changes color. Oh! He gives a throwback, he gives a salute to the dock. Wow. And that's the reason why he So that's has. why we have that. Look at that exclusive. Yeah. Uh, so. We know what happens in Cars 3, he exactly. goes blue. there you go. Uh. <laughs> the very end, he wanted to be like Doc. <laughs> so I saw very the movie cool. too, my girlfriend showed me the movie and we're watching. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. And at the very end, he changes color. I'm like, okay. He wanted to give his title to somebody else. But the there dock. you go. Uh, um, we got some replicas of C3PO and R2D2. These are R2 the uh, Chigokins as well. Um, price point 400. Um, one thing a little cool about these characters for R2D2 and as for C3PO is the LED lighting, uh, diecast. So light up and yes, stuff they like that. do. Oh, diecast yeah, as well. R2D2 he lights up, makes sound effects. So it's now, a, is this was this just a miscoloring, or is that we have the actual like he lost his leg, he's got that actual, silver one? Yeah, because so we cool. even have him over there. I'll show you in a second. All right, but great. It's again that's one of the actual replacement <laughs> legs before he went red. Yeah, so, yeah, that red arm or whatever. Definitely kind of funny to see. Uh, and then we have some some other Marvel so stuff. So Marvel again, the licensing rights for Marvel at Disney. Right, These are the SH Disney. figure arts, Doctor Strange, as well as uh, Star Lord, and we even have a. Uh, uh, this is the Hall set. of Armor. There's a series set regarding this, and it's actually so you Iron have more Man. Than just with Iron Man. Well, it's Iron Man's different suits. Okay. So, so you Mach collect them. Um, yeah, exactly. And there, you know, you remember I think it was Iron Man Two that he actually had his room and it was laid out with all the armors and cases. Right. And he's in the middle. And he's putting together his armor. It's exactly the setup. The base is where the armor would be placed as in for display. So you collect each one to make it look so like you can kind of pretend you're Tony Stark with all the different Iron Man uh. exactly <laughs> you just can't put the armor off but you have the ability to you know say hey I have every single armor excellent so there's more that comes out in the future as well very cool what you're seeing on the very well to our right uh, would literally be the actual model kit for paints for people that want to be able to paint the product and kind of give it customization it's a nice little display that we give an example of how our spray brush works yeah we're gonna take a little so walk over there so I'll you can show us a I'll ahead and show you if you want to come around this corner yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, let's take a little walk. Yeah, there's so much stuff. We doubled the size since last year. Last year oh, we so actually had Oh, so you guys are double? It. Yeah, we doubled right. the size. We, had, we knew we had to give more room to our customers. So okay, so show us off what here. we got here. It's like a whole air kit. We got a pump and everything. It's actually kind of funny, actually. Yeah. So just take a simple. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, you there, there you go. go. So you got to take a simple marker. Now, the cool thing about this airbrush is that it's for new guys that are wanting to learn how to do paints. So... Take a simple model kit piece, add it to the mix. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on real quick. All right, you got a good angle on that? Oh, look at that. So take a model kit piece and spray right on. Oh, it's really simple. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't seem to, it doesn't make a mess. It's right there. And the cool thing about this as well For people that want to know, is that it actually dries up within 20 seconds. Really? Hey, look at that. That's yeah. super easy. That's that's a lot of fun. So you're able to kind of give a little design to these guys. Um, it doesn't just work for new kits. I mean, if you already built a bottle kit ready and you want to customize it, you're more than welcome to. That's really cool. So that's actually all right. So cool. we're gonna keep walking around here because we are geeking out hard. Um, so, this is our. This is a lot of Gundam. Yeah, this is actually the PGs, and the PGs are actually uh, the XL, which was in cons with the LED lights as well. It was one of our populars that came out recently. Um, going into some of the special coating with the Wing Gundam Zero DW. Um, a little bit more for the uh, special coating set, but these are actual PGs. We even have some MGs that are on solicitation right now. Uh, the Gundam Astra turned red. It's on pre-order for a lot of our customers. And that comes out in March? That does. Okay. Very so cool. It definitely has. So if you're a Gundam fan, these are really cool to get in. So how many? Uh, now these obviously move around a little bit on their, even on their. The stands. articulation is the same exact thing. They're multiple joints, maybe around 50 plus. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. That's ex just that's because awesome. you can move fingers, head, shoulder, wings, legs, knees. <laughs> name it. Had to tell you. Can move. Heads, knees, and toes, right? That's uh, 
These are from the new series of uh, Gundam Build Fighters that's going to be coming out okay. a little bit later on in the future. All right. So, so we'll... Gundam Build Divers is actually on YouTube um, mm -hmm. and other areas uh, showcasing it. But these are some of the characters that are actually in the series that we are selling uh, for pre-order right now. And these even have posable joints as well? Uh, a lot of the HGs they do. Even goes back to... Not a lot, but probably because they're smaller, they're a little bit... Uh... The Haro was originally part of the original Gundam. They showcase a couple times in different series, but they pop up here and there. And they're kind of like an R2-D2 version for Gundam. <laughs> and it's actually pretty funny. Awesome. So it kind of builds up that way. But again, these are some of the new releases that are going to be coming out later into this year. Great. And Excellent. even we are a distributor for GSI. Oh, so if you're into uh, making your own, they have all kinds of different paints, and uh, they can buy these right off your website? Um, not through our website, through our customers. We oh, have our customers, customers right. that do pick oh, right. up the paints. Right. So we are just a distributor to them. Um, and doing so, they go to our customers, they pick up the paints, the gloss, the spray paints, you name it, as long as our customers So if you want to get it. that really cool, uh, that, that super smell of uh, paints, uh, this is the place to go, and you got to find it at your local retailer. Most um, definitely. So let's, let's go and continue got... over this way real fast. Looks like we got some cool we Dragon Ball over stuff over here. here. This is where I'm at. This is this is all what I'm all about. So this is our Dragon Ball Z line. Um, pretty much, it's kind of showcasing for our retail customers. And what it is, it's more of showcasing the products that they could put on display. Right. Our SH figure line, line as with Napa, kind of builds into the mix. And we showcase the items that go with the Dragon Ball Z line. The Dragon Ball Z Shoto, again Shenron SH figure art. Shenron so is cool. amazing. That's pretty definitely cool. Yeah. And the absolute Shigokin, which is. Literally small little individual oh, look at pieces, these little guys. die cast metal. So they come in like a little mystery box, right? They do. Uh, just these little guys here, and they come in, what are they, what are they die cast? They are die cast metal. little guys here? Yes, they are. Oh, they, at least this is a good weight for yeah. the, what they're made out of. Very affordable for consumers as well. Very cool. Here, come take a shot of this. Look at this, guys. Uh, looks like you got a couple of different, uh, what do you got, Gokus. We got future trunks here. So the cool thing, they're not blind boxes. You could actually see what character you're choosing based on top of the box. But uh, it does have different color variants that right, you yeah. will have to pick up a box open and hope you get a color. And it's the Saiyans, right? Like those exactly. Are, okay, so yes. these are just so you got just the Saiyans in there, uh, but it's still a mystery. So you can get any different colors. You got gold, silver, and uh, red there. It looks like very cool. So what are these? What are these guys? Because this is. Very so artful. Those are all our pieces. So as you can see, they're the paper theaters. You can piece them go up together and to make a scene. So usually they do it for their franchises as well. This is a product that we are going to be looking to try. Can you? Are these interchangeable? Like the uh, scenes itself? Mm, or no? Not exactly too sure that they are interchangeable. I think it's just based on what you see on the front of the cover is what you're able to create. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. The paper theaters there. So it's just you choose one that you feel more affiliated and associated with that you want to create. Very cool. It's a great opportunity. Yeah, I like that. And as we come to our X Plus, this is our X Plus line for our Dragon yeah. Ball Z, Vegeta, Majin Buu, Son Goku as well. These are for the collectors that want to have bigger place, bigger piece items. Yeah, these are, this, now this is a collectible. Like, look at the, I mean, Majin Buu stands what? What do we got? Maybe a so foot? Majin Buu. Yeah, good, maybe. I'm on that point. They hold up really Some well. Some really good detail in that as well. So, yeah. what else we got? What are we looking at here? So, if you want to come over here to the Dragon Ball Z figure. Oh, we got a whole case full of Dragon Ball stuff. Oh, now this, this doing the the key blasts. Key blasts are super cool. Uh, we have everything from Final Flash here, Destructo Disc. We even have. The GT Fusion going on here. Yeah, these are actual model kits, as you can see an example of well, how the process works. Oh, okay. Yeah, over look at there. this guy. So you can even pick like. So choosing a character. Faces. Um, you could choose so different look, faces. Yeah. yeah, you could put them in different stances and you know get them in different poses. Their articulation. Build your own. Yes, they are. Oh, these are all build your own. I was so I was like, oh, this is great. Oh, the yeah, Brawly. Okay, and they're at least posable when you're building your own, obviously, so you can do super moves and stuff like that, right? Correct. Cool. 
Do they all come with its superpower, like its own key They do blast? come with additional accessories So even to Piccolo add comes with a little special beam cannon? I'm um, not exactly no. sure what his accessory is. It's on <laughs> solicitation right now for okay. our customers, right. but wouldn't necessarily know what that additional add-on is. Now the fans said that there was some uh, some Ninja Turtle stuff that we missed. That would and be going back. They definitely want to check out one. Ninja Turtles. Most definitely. Yeah. Some really great great stuff, guys. So if you want to follow over here. Oh, we showed them this already. They saw this. So what you're actually seeing on display is numerous characters that are actually going to be cameo in the new movie Ready Player One. Oh, okay. So, so these are yeah. all the Ready Player One, like... Cameo, cameo, yeah, yeah, the throw-ins. Exactly. The okay. RX-72, Chun-Li, Ryu, and as well as the Ninja Turtles, and Mechagodzilla as well. That yeah. was a new item that we recently brought in, Mechagodzilla in 1974. So even Joker and Harley make an entrance in the Ready Player if One, If you huh? remember seeing, he was, she was walking with Deadpool. That's right. Okay, that's right. Yeah, she was walking with Deadpool. It was yeah. a good introduction scene to showing that universe. <laughs> Very so cool. as for the Ninja Turtles, this is again Tomashi Nations. Um, they are diecast as well. On the they knee level, knee and below is diecast as well as the shell. So the shell is diecast, and they come with little accessories. As you can see, Donatello has some obviously you know, some posable pizza. limbs there as well. Exactly. Uh, is there a new uh, Goku uh, Killer Joggy says? A is there Goku? a Goku yeah. for the SH Figure Arts? There actually is the Son Goku Saiyan Rise. Raised on Earth, actually to your left, right over there. So it's one of our biggest lines for us is the SH Figure Arts, and we have some of the new characters that are on showcase, such as Bulma, uh, Majin Buu. These are to be coming out a little bit later. Yeah. We don't have a release date for them. Um, some popular and This is characters. Dragon Ball Bulma, so this, this is, is hardcore S Bulma. Yeah. Uh, we, but we have a Goku Black. They so were you're, showcased you're really as well in other locations, the Mashi Nations World Tour event. They were showcased at. There was a Japanese uh, convention recently that they were at. So Tomashi Nations does really well with their figures due to the articulation. Again, yeah. the poses, the base stand that comes with it. You can actually put them in a pose. Um, the opportunity to come with additional accessories makes it work. Yeah. These are real collectibles, though. These are going to run you 50 bucks and higher, right? A little bit, yeah, correct. I mean, the only one that's actually under 50 is the Sun Goku Saiyan Rise on, Raised on Earth. That's actually 35 MSRP. Um, oh, okay. The reason for that, it's a reversion edit for him just to kind of throw back. So that's this guy here. Exactly. That's the Raised on Earth one. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Are you guys seeing a lot of sales, especially with Dragon Ball Fighters? Uh, very, very true. Uh, yeah. SH Figure Arts for Dragon Ball Z is possible are one of our number one brands that we actually sell to our customers awesome. because it has high demand. Um, usually these are sometimes re not even reruns. These are one and done kind of items. So that makes it very more uh, valuable for the customer to collect yeah. because then it goes higher on third party market. So you have like sort of like a series that come out. So like what series is number? Uh, it's is not thing? really a series that comes out. They usually come in by individuals. Oh, okay. You know, it keeps the excitement and the weight going for them. You know, we'll solicitate. So like a new character you know, might be hit since you have Goku Black. You might do something like later a newer down character. Later the future, or, yeah, it could be hit. Or even an older character that you like to see come back. Yeah, I mean, well, of course, we always take fan requests to, you know, just to kind of see what they're into. But at the same time, it's not our option to choose. That's more what Tomashi Nation yeah. wants to really release, what they have the capability of releasing. So if Tomashi Nation is listening, I'm going to say I would love to see Lunch from the Dragon Ball series. Lunch was cool. <laughs> uh, that's just, that's, as a fan, that's what I would like to see. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of great comments on there. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, no man, for showing us well. around. I really appreciate it. No uh, we're be terrific. And, uh... Glad to have you guys here. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. How are you guys? Have a good one. Right, Thank man. you very Enjoy much. Enjoy the rest of Toy Fair.